Well, I was at the, at the launch of the uh, Pulse Club uh, some months ago, and I suppose what I <coughs> came across tonight was the uh, progress that's been made in, in, you know, in six months. And it was really positive to see so many young, new entrepreneurs uh, arriving on the scene, all with great ideas, with much potential. And hopefully, you know, uh, it will be the start of some very exciting developments uh, here in the town of Ballinstow. I suppose what came across tonight was, you know, really the, the huge potential that's here now with the marketing of the, of the, of the Heaton Heartlands, you know, with the, the, uh, the, the um, location of Ballinasloe in the centre of Ireland, you know, with the fantastic uh, in infrastructure, you know, with the broadband, with, you know, easy access to, to rail and public transport and to the airports, that, you know, Ballinasloe has to be a town that's going to really develop. Uh, into the future. We heard a number of speakers talking about changing the messaging about our town. Was there anything that you found that you could agree with there? Or? Well, I suppose, uh, you know, there has been a lot of negativity in Bannister over the years, probably since the closure of, of you know, of, of 80 Cross and Square D and uh, the downsizing of, of St. Bridget's. So I suppose the message that came across tonight is that we have to look forward rather than looking backwards. And uh, I think tonight really, uh, you know, is, sh should be the start of something really, really positive. In this, you know, six or seven months' time, the, the big dig is going to be completed. We're going to have had, you know, six and a half, seven, eight million of an investment in our town. I think now is the opportunity for the, for the business people when, the, when this work is completed, you know, to really take advantage of <coughs> the, 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 the investment that's being made here. And, you know, for, for, for business people to, you know, to spend a little bit of their money as well in improving their premises, in, you know, in, in marketing what, you know, what, what's on offer here and really capitalising on, on the uh, additional visitors that we expect to see coming to the town as a result of the marketing of the, of the Hidden Heartlands. Well, I, I think there is, but I think a lot will depend, though, on the, on the business people themselves. I think they're really going to have to put the shoulders of the wheel then and take advantage of, of what's being put in place, uh, you know, by, by investing in, in their own premises and probably expanding the range of, 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 uh, of services and products that are available here. But also, hopefully, it will attract some new people to come into the town as well to invest.